right, people, it is now time for the entertainment news, and we are kicking off with some amazing news as Burner Boy and Rema win big at the 2023 Billboard Music Awards. The 2023 Billboard Music Awards held recently and new records were created. The top winner of the night was country singer Morgan Wallen with 11 wins for top male artist, top hot 10 artist, top streaming songs artist, top country artist, top country male artist, top country touring artist, top Billboard 200 album, top country award, top hot 100 song, top streaming song and top country song. Taylor Swift on the other hand was the biggest female winner adding 10 plaques to her repertoire as she won top artist, top female artist, top Billboard 200 artist, top, 100, one, top hot 100 songwriter, top radio songs artist, top song sales artist, top Billboard Global 200 artist, top Billboard Global excluding US artist, top country female artist and top selling song. Taylor's 10 wins and Drake's 5 wins on the night now put them in a tie for the artist with the most Billboard Music Awards of all time. Drake's 5 wins were the top rap artist, top rap male artist, top rap touring artist, top rap album and top rap song. Nigerian artists Burna Boy and Rema made history at the 2023 Billboard Music Awards as they became the first ever winners of the newly unveiled Afrobeat Awards. Burna Boy emerged victorious in the top Afrobeat artist category, beating out stiff competition from Wizkid, Thames and Rema, while Rema's Come Down remix featuring Selena Gomez took home the prize for top Afrobeat song. Despite these wins, Come Down did not clinch victories in other nominated categories such as the top radio song and top Billboard Global excluding US song. The wins for Burner Boy and Rema mark a significant milestone for Afrobeat music on the global stage, solidifying the genre's growing influence and popularity. Other winners of the night include Caesar, Beyonce, Zach Bryan, Bad Bunny, Kanye West, Miley Cyrus, amongst others. Chart Achievement Awards went to Maria Carey for All I Want for Christmas Is You. That and song is still winning. Yeah, that song is still winning. That song is still... Every year, I feel like that song is going to come back to haunt us, whether like, we like it or not. She's so much from that. Um, I agree. I mean, shout out to that, who's that guy. That congratulations for the winners first. Yes, yes, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, you guys, you know, had an amazing year. Yeah. Um, but shout out to that guy who picked up how many awards? Top Country Awards. Oh, yeah, yeah, Wallace. Yeah, yeah it, it was... Amazing. It was, so much, like is he your birthday, night. sir? Uh, is he your birthday, sir? At this but, point, <laughs> now you get events. <laughs> but you know, um, shout out to shout out to the fact that they're including Afrobeats as a category Definitely. in um, most of these major international awards now. Mm -hmm. But it still doesn't feel because we know we we'll always cut out Afrobeats <laughs> awards. We're already dragging with ourselves, Rema, Whiskey, know, Thames, right? all of, so it's normal. We want to drag it with the biggest artist. I mean, yeah, yeah it's real special. Thank you, Billboards, for giving it to us. Mm -hmm. Grammy is also giving us Af African category awards. Yep. But I mean, it feels much, much like better mm -hmm. when we're dragging it with Taylor Swift, we're dragging it with all Drake the international, and, with yeah. the Drakes and the rest, you know. So um, that, that brings to the fact that um, we're wishing uh, Bonner Boy a major like success at the Grammys because mm -hmm. um, aside being nominated in the other um, categories, he yeah. has a main category, uh, best uh, melodic rap category. Hmm. And in that category, we have, um, you know, major, major superstars. Yep. Thames, by the way, we featured, took it at the last Grammy Awards, mm -hmm. the melodic rap uh, performance. So we hope that he dragged, he takes it home this time. That would make it feel more special. I agree. Us. I mean, rock wasn't built in a day. Once upon a time, this wasn't even happening. So to see it now, mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. I'm mm -hmm. living for the process. Mm -hmm. And this just goes to show, like, we are putting Africa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigeria now. So that would have yeah. come and drag me. Yeah. But we are putting Africa on the map. And it's really mm -hmm. beautiful to see. And I'm sure mm -hmm. that by even next year, it's going to be, like, major oh, so things for African music. By, by so. the way, there was a podcast in um, a radio station in Ghana, mm -hmm. and they were complaining about Nigerians taking everything. We can complain <laughs> about Nigerians taking everything if we're putting in the work that we're supposed to do and aligning according to what's happening. So I feel yeah. like that's probably what, like, um, Ghanaian, the Ghanaian music industry is missing as well. I, I feel like there's that lack of structure somewhere mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. supposed to put you in line with all of this, which mm -hmm. Nigerians are probably... So mm -hmm. instead of complaining, how about you come and ask us and say, I mean, it's, it's, it's major. it's a major conversation, like yeah, why definitely. Nigeria is always cutting away 
most of the international recognition. It's, it's another conversation for a whole other day. Yeah, and, and you know? I mean, Ghanaians are actually doing absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. As in, there's so... South Africans. Although... <laughs> We, Ama Piano was nominated at Yay, the Grammys, but, but it was, it by, was for Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry, I'm sorry. You don't catch us. You don't catch us. <laughs>